this is less than when next to this, but this is more than when next to this. And second, every opinion in this world is based on perspective. Perspective of the individual and nothing is usual when what you usually see is different from me and he and she. So let's explore this concept of misguided precepts with a story. Chapter one begins with, when what you got is good and you don't even know. It's when you hear Miss High and Mighty talking about how she shops in that store and drives that car because a man is working offshore. She got Gucci and linens and she says, girl, I'm always wearing a cuss. I got it all. So you look at your love and say, damn. Am I wasting my time when month to month goes by and we still living in the same old house and I got this car that runs well, but she's claiming I could do better all by myself. Or perhaps she said I should follow her lead and let this demon of greed take over my heart and soul. See, first of all, everything in this world is relative, as in this is less than when next to this, but this is more than when next to this. And at first look, you might think she got it all, and I ain't got shit. But what's real is, I got a home and safety. I got a warm love from a lover who nurtures me. And standing next to someone else, what I got is wealth. And in reality, what you're about to see is next to this girl, I was the queen of the world. So now for chapter two. So, little Miss Thing was just dying to get a ring because he had already made it clear she would never be the queen to his king. After all, she was just another girl in the club and after two months spending hours fucking and no time talking, they made a baby. Yes, after two months, you heard me. No commitment, no knowledge. Don't even know what her favorite color is. She don't even know if the car he drives is his. Now they both are trapped. And the love is love and two years later, he stays going longer and longer at work avoiding holding her because he's not a jerk, it's just too damn much. What was supposed to be just a fuck? turned into a lifetime of looking like a dumb duck. And now a home is just a house. So a home is just a house sitting empty, except the two years he had enough of her spending thousands every month. Yes, thousands, not dimes or quarters, but dollars. And his boys coming tails and bouncing her ass in the club and God only knows who she had in his bed for a fuck. So he kicked her out, all while dying inside because his seed would leave with her. His seed would grown to be in his presence like air to lungs. Now he was only non-custodial. No longer daddy and I of course. Not to mention 30% 30, 30 of his paycheck going to child support. Filling his wallet and his heart. See, first of all, every, every opinion in this world is based on perspective. Perspective of the individual and nothing is usual when what you usually see is different from me and he and she. See, my perspective teaches me the greatest thing is love. Is love more like adoration. Not that watered-down version you get from Hollywood, but the kind that stands by your side like we gotta fight together through any weather. We will grow and shine like stars day in, day out. You working hard and I'm working hard because we are two who stand as one. So don't judge your love from the words come out the mouths of fools. Fools that put on shows for fools. Judge your love from the eyes of God. Is he true? Is he strong? Is he steadfast in his will to lift you up? Is she feminine and genuine and wise, rising you to new highs in me too? Stand as one, and let the fools drown alone. I'm gon' grind, cause I'm gon' eat. I'm gon' get up on my feet. Just got hit up for a feature next week. Time I reach my destiny. Pack your bags, it's time to roll. Tell your boss.